Why, hello there. How's it going, everybody? Hopefully everyone's having a good day. If you're wondering why my last video is not in a big shoot, I have the same question. I don't want to manually upload it quite yet. Because uh, I don't want to upload the four videos or four sites all at once. This gets a little uh, tedious. But anyways, I want to uh, talk about something that I got a little bit more knowledge on than just... Awesome police department and politics and stuff. But I also want to point out something. Every time I uh, post to Twitter on my videos, I don't use hashtags on Twitter. So that's why I, um, I don't know what you want to make of it. Like see here, Brian Laundry Twitter poll. There's no hashtag that says hashtag Brian Laundry or got Gabby Petito whatsoever. Same thing with this one right here. I'm actually surprised at how much traction this video has gotten. I don't know, I just find it interesting. I just wanted to point that out that I could be using hashtags to do a very large reach, but I'm not doing that. Take that as it worth as it is. If you don't know who um, Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Skeller Jr. is, He's a person that actually posted, I think, to Facebook or somewhere asking for accountability in the uh, upper echelons. That's right. Pretty much his argument, if I have to be accountable for my own actions, so does everyone else. And I know this is the Washington Compost. But I don't think they would lie on this one. But anyways, a Marine Lieutenant Colonel who publicly criticized the Biden administration for last month's chaotic evacuation on American and allied troops and civilians from Afghanistan is now in the military break for violating a gag order last weekend, his parents said in a short statement. Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Scheller Jr. was incarcerated early Monday, they said on Lincoln, after ignoring orders to refrain from posting on social media. Scheller, who received his, <laughs> who was relieved of his command after his initial criticism of the evacuation, has been put in pre-trial confinement at Camp Ladrine, Ladrine or Leguine, North Carolina, according to the Marine Corps spokesman, Captain Sam St Stephenson. But... Scheller does not yet face charges, Stefan said, the allegation against Lieutenant Colonel. Scheller is merely accusations. He is presumed innocent until proven guilty. The Lieutenant Colonel... <coughs> no, excuse me, I had to go off real quick. No, so professional of me. Well, where was I at? The Lieutenant Colonel stands accused of showing contempt towards officials willfully disobeying superior order failing to obey lawful orders and committing contact of unbecoming an officer. Pretty much his military career is over with. But it's pretty much this right here is going to be the other thing I'm going to read. Skeller has been critical of both Democrats and Republicans in subsequent social media statements, but he has appeared to be attracted more support from the political right for criticizing the Afghanistan withdrawal from including Rep. Dan Crenshaw, Texas. Hey, that's my rep. And former President Donald Trump, who shared a story about Scheller last month on his website. So pretty much his military career is over with. I know he resigned or put in his resignation. Even if he were to play ball and kind of get in the good graces, he'll never be in command of any troops. He'll be more of a admin role type officer. So really, I mean, I know he's got 17 years in, roughly, about another three years, maybe two and a half years. I heard that he lost his um, pension. So who knows what's going to happen to him. But actually, I don't really feel sorry for him, mainly because as soon as he actually finally leaves the Marine Corps, I'm sure there's countless, countless companies out there willing to hire him for top dollar. But still, it's a shame that um, it's a shame that we have two systems here. And this is like the frustrating part, and this is where I'm going to get political. 
there's many soldiers who criticized Donald Trump and they were they were celebrated. They're like, yes, the military is standing up to Donald Trump. It's the way it should be. And as soon as a Democrat, doesn't matter if it was Joe Biden, Obama, Tulsi, or whoever Democrat that got into office, as soon as they step out of line, shame on them. And that's the part that's frustrating. It's it's a double standard. So I'm sure if this was if Donald Trump was still in office and he said those remarks, they'll do everything in their power to protect and to make sure you wouldn't be charged. But the fact that we have a Democrat that were not Donald Trump, he's pretty much getting the uh, the full treatment of the uniform military justice. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to be out of the military here probably by Christmas either with a dishonorable discharge or less than honorable discharge, mainly because his actions is warranted to that. I don't think people in the civilian world understand the seriousness of this, of what he did. He pretty much told his gen- all the generals that were in charge, secretary, I think not the secretary, but the um, general of the army or the secretary of the army or the military forces, and Joe Biden, that they needed to speak up on accountability, that they needed to take some ownership of the issue. And that's a big no-no. Then not only did he say that, he said it in such a public manner to where they have no choice but to punish him. And I don't even know what his punishment is going to be. It could be less than honorable discharge or dishonorable discharge, which I don't know if this, in this environment, of people knowing who he is, if that's going to matter, to, you, to to be honest. I think he's going to come out. He's going to have several job offers. He's probably going to write a book or two. So I don't think he's going to be hurting for cash. Um, so, But at the same time, I don't think people understand the seriousness of what he did and why that's such a terrible thing he did. Regardless if he was speaking the truth, regardless if he was speaking the truth, regardless if there's people that was under Trump that did the same thing that got off without even warning that was even celebrated. Regardless, regardless, what he did was terrible in the eyes of the military. Keep in mind, it's in the eyes of the military. But he is an American hero. He was asking for accountability and demanding accountability the way it should be. But unfortunately, we're not going to get that with this administration and maybe not even the next administration. Because we tend to vote for the worst people. We go through the primaries and we pick the worst people and they get elected. It doesn't matter if it's a Democrat or Republican. We always seem to elect the person that doesn't have our best interests at heart. That's the same thing on the local level too. So I guess the only thing I can say is know who you're voting for. With that being said, comment down below what your thoughts are. Do you agree with me that he is a hero? But he also did something wrong. Extremely terrible wrong. But still a hero. Does he deserve to be in the brig? Does he deserve to be kicked out with a disarmable discharge? Let me know down below with the comment down below. Smash the like and subscribe button. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning or evening.